this next part is going to be live with me putting on a head mounted display uh, and uh, sometimes uh, our software for broadcasting this online confuses the screens so um, Colt will let me know if that happens so we can make adjustments all right so um, let's just jump, jump straight into it but I want to say a few things first of all I'll have the acknowledged software running at the same time so the virtual reality software will automatically start and stop the data acquisition. So when we start collecting the eye tracking data, we'll also start collecting the physiological data. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, fire it up here. So, and by the way, we can run this also in desktop mode. This is very useful and I'll show you afterwards running it in desktop mode. So you can try things out even when you don't have an HMD but we have an HMD, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now here is, here is this initial screen that you're faced with, and um, what I will choose here is to record our session. This will be very important because afterwards we can merge that uh, video recording into our knowledge data. Okay, uh, we can choose the fixation time. So when we look at an object, let's say you look at a cat. Uh, so if you look at the object for one second, it will be considered a fixation, or you know, we could dial that down to 0.23 seconds. I'll leave it at one second so that everybody can follow along. So we'll keep the fixations a bit longer. And we're gonna choose an environment and I'll go into how we actually make this happen later. Now it's just, a, a number of pre-configured environments okay so i'm going to choose this environment and inside each environment there can be sub objects and i can choose which ones will be fixation targets so i'm choosing the basketball and the soccer ball and i can make some of these grabbable as you can see i've made the laptop grabbable so using the controller uh, like this i can grab objects as well but i won't be grabbing any objects right now uh, just showing you that this can be done. And um, then I'll visualize the gaze point so you can see what I'm looking at and I'll make it extra large. Now the participant is not gonna see this or I will not see this gaze point, but you will so you can know what I'm looking at. Okay, and now let's enter some information here. Uh, so this is the participant information and you know, let's, come up with some random number here for our experiment. And um, yeah, let's uh, get acknowledge onto the other side so you can see how acknowledge acquiring data at the same time. And, uh, and then we begin. So I'm gonna put on the head mounted display. Okay. And uh, well, I'm not sure, let me just make sure that I've enabled the uh, Okay, so you should be seeing now my uh, my gaze point. So I'll look at this creature right here, and it's gonna smile at me because I looked at it. I'm gonna look at it again. It's gonna smile at me again. Now these chickens, they'll react to my gaze as well. So they're quite happy that I'm looking at them, jumping up and down. We can look around in the room. We have uh, all sorts of objects here. So here we have a soccer ball. We'll fixate on it. We have a basketball look at the soccer ball as well, and then we'll look at the chicken right above it. You know, that's sufficient for our purposes, so I'm just gonna get out of it right now. Uh, I'll press space bar so it stops the recording and it also stops the knowledge. Okay, now one thing that happens right away is you get this report generated. So we have a number of objects here in the room we have little chickens, we have the creature, and basketball and soccer ball. So we can look at some uh, basic analytical information, so total view time and average fixation time. Uh, we can see we never looked at two of the chickens, which is why they never moved. So this is also generated as a PDF. So right now I'm just gonna close it. Okay, we, we no longer need this, but you can see that uh, we also have the points, uh, our gaze path. Now let's just 
go ahead and uh, look at uh, the software and acknowledge. So, okay, let's auto scale the data. Now you can see all these markers were coming in. So uh, we looked at the creature, we looked at the creature again, uh, the chick, soccer ball, etc. So all of these are markers that came in over the network from the virtual reality component of the system, from the wizard software. Okay, so um, now uh, something else we can do is uh, we can link up media. So we'll come over here and um, we're gonna look for the file that was generated. So that's the one, okay? And uh, so I'm gonna place it like somewhere here. Actually, let's, let's have these side by side like that. Okay, there we go. Um, and uh, here are our events. So now here we are looking at uh, the, the creature. I can make this a little bit bigger so you can see it better. So uh, here we're looking at the creature. We can play it back so we can see we looked at it and, it, and it's my house. And then I, I looked at it again and then it's my house again. So, uh, the video is linked with the physiological data. You can click on like the soccer ball, for example. You can see the soccer ball right here. I'm looking at the soccer ball. That's very useful. Um, everything's linked together. Now, since we got all this information in real time about when we looked at the various objects, and here we can see the descriptors, we can perform some analysis and acknowledge. So um, here we have some ECG. And by the way, I'm not connected right now. There's just too many things uh, going on right now to be connected. I used acknowledge in playback mode, which is extremely useful for when you're testing, when you're preparing an experiment, you can actually play back data and make it look like the real thing. Um, all right, so uh, we'll go to analysis find rate and uh, we're gonna base this off the ECG. So this is just a uh, heart rate from ECG, human resting heart rate. Let's give it a bit more of a tolerance. Uh, okay, and now we're gonna end up with a new waveform here on the bottom, which is the heart rate. Okay, right, so let's, let's hide the other one. So here's our heart rate. And I can uh, very quickly generate some useful analysis so I can say let's do a stimulation response analysis at each stimulus event I want to grab the next three seconds um, and, and this will differ depending on what you're doing is it electrodermal activity heart rate etc so a bit arbitrary right now just showing you how it works so at each stimulus event I'm going to get uh, let's, uh, I'm going to get the mean uh, actually I want to get the, the rate mean of the heart rate channel and yeah let's just go ahead and get this into an excel spreadsheet so now we have here for um, the creature you know we can see two times that we looked at two times and now we have the heart rate then we have for the chicken um, we have it for the soccer ball etc so this could be a number of different physiological parameters that you're requiring and since you have the data for fixations, then uh, then uh, you can uh, perform this analysis. Now, something else I want to show you is there's also automatically this data uh, a folder that gets um, that gets updated. So this is the PDF, okay, the PDF that I showed you initially, okay, so that that's there. Um, now. In addition to that, we have the um, uh, we have the tracking data. So the tracking data uh, it shows us X Y Z and also gives us the pupil diameter. Okay, and uh, when relevant, it also provides uh, information on there we go here on when we have looked at a new fixation. So this, for example, this pupil diameter information, this is just the text format. So we can bring that right into Acknowledge and it can become another channel uh, in Acknowledge. Okay. Uh, something else that we can do is uh, now we can come back to uh, the virtual reality software to Wizard and uh, we can uh, replay 
our session. So let's just hit here. Okay, and we're gonna use the desktop, but we could view it inside a head-mounted display, but I'll use desktop mode. Let's click OK. And our participant ID, as you can see, I've been very um, um, creative here with my numbering of participants. Uh, is 3333. So here we are looking at the same scene. And if we click to static, we can see our entire gaze path you know, for, for the whole experiment. Um, and uh, you know, if I if I move here, you can you can inspect things a little bit closer. Okay, now I can go to dynamic. And if I go to uh, dynamic, it's actually going to uh, play back what uh, what happened uh, during the uh, the experiment. So let's just press spacebar, so visualizing it. Okay, so uh, this is my avatar looking at looking at stuff. So okay, looking at this creature, um, looking at the creature again. Okay, looking at the other chicken and so forth. Okay, let's pause that. So a lot of different things you can uh, configure configure here, and the pupil diameter is shown right here. So uh, it's it's also provided here. All right. Well, let's let's escape out of this.